Hey yo, hello everybody, it's me Nick the Brick and I'm back with another video and today I actually have something pretty special for you which are my own Ninjago hot takes. If you still don't know the hot takes thing is actually pretty popular in the Ninjago community right now and actually quite many people did it before like Tanner Fishes, Overlord X and so on and as you know I usually don't really talk about this show that much because I'm not really that type of a channel but I would say I have a pretty unique taste for pretty much everything life has to offer so that actually means that I have quite a few really spicy hot takes to share so now that we got all of this stuff out of the way let's get straight into it so the first extremely controversial pick that I have is actually that Moro is probably the most overrated character in the whole show. Don't get me wrong, I don't think this character is bad by any means, but I just don't really get the hype and there are just people getting love for this character. He doesn't really have that much development as well if you look at it that way, I mean, you mostly have season 5 which I must say he was definitely great in that season and also Day of the Departed. But but I'm talking about serious development and I don't know, personally I just don't really see how people think Moro is actually one of the best characters in the world so I'm definitely not on that boat. My second hot take is that Hands of Time animation is actually very decent and you know a lot of people really seem to hate it and don't like it at all. Some people also say that's why they don't like the season, I mean don't ask me how. Animation changes your opinion on the season that much because at the end of the day it's really not that important compared to the like other things like storyline, character development and stuff but oh well. For all I'm not even sure the animation itself is actually the problem with like how characters look and stuff but I think it's more of a problem with the lightning which probably doesn't really work as well as it does in the rest of the show. Third and fourth hot take are actually kinda mixed into the one with the third one being that Nia should have stayed Samurai X and the fourth one that Skylar actually should have joined the ninja team instead of Nia. So yeah now let me explain. I think Nia is actually a very perfect Samurai X and I think Samurai X itself is actually a pretty important role and I think Nia fits it really perfectly and Pixel actually doesn't in my opinion. I don't think she's nearly as good as Nia while being Samurai X. To continue you actually have Zane who is master of ice and Nia is master of water. And as you can see those two elements are actually extremely similar so it would actually make more sense to not have a water master at all but actually have Zane unlocking water powers at some point which would be a pretty cool addition to Zane's powers. It's like we've called his master of word but he also has the Erex powers as well. But then the actual ninja team would only be 5 male members and I actually think having one female ninja is a pretty good idea and considering Skylar was introduced at a pretty similar time that Nia became a water ninja actually just right before that it would be awesome for her to actually become part of the ninja team and yes I also Skylar is really popular with fans including me so yeah that would be indeed really cool to see. Continuing with the hot takes, I actually think the prison arc and the finale of Skybound were actually very good. And if you don't know, Skybound is actually currently my favorite season. It doesn't mean that everything about it is perfect, but considering by how I'm judging how I like the seasons, I think it definitely holds up. I think at the first place, but yeah, the actual premiere, aka Infamous, is actually very controversial. People are just going crazy about it that it's one of the worst premieres of the show in the series which I definitely don't agree with. I mean I kinda understand that Ninja being famous it's a pretty interesting thing that probably should have been introduced way earlier probably with season 3 or something but I still don't think it's really that bad. I mean there's also arguments that they should have continued Ninja being famous to the other seasons but 
that's not fault of Skybound. I think the blame should be on the other seasons that didn't do that afterwards, but then we also kinda have the prison arc, which, you know, it's unique, but personally, I think it's really, really good. I think both episodes 2 and 3 of Skybound were very enjoyable. And then we got the finale, which is very controversial as well. You know, people aren't really happy that how it ended, with actually only Jania and Nadaka knowing that this season actually happened, but I actually find it as a very unique twist, which I really like, and I think it was totally necessary to do it sometime in the series, so I think that was actually a perfect opportunity right there. And the most controversial hot takes I have for you for today are that the show actually should have ended with March of the Oni, and that the newer seasons are actually pretty weak compared to the Masters of Spinjitsu. So at first, I don't think Anything else needed to happen after March of the Oni, but I would personally change the season a bit myself. What I would do is actually I would make it at least 8 episodes long, give Oni more development that actually make them better villains than they actually turned out to be, and that call would actually pass away. I think all of those things would be needed for an absolutely amazing ending to the series, though even if the season 10 would stay as it is right now, now I actually wouldn't complain with a ending like this and that would make me way happier in general about the show if I'm being completely honest because afterwards we got seasons 11 to 15 and if I'm being honest I'm just not really a fan of them at all don't get me wrong I still think they're actually pretty good as the standalone thing but compared to Masters of Spinjitsu they're really thick if not even bad if I'm being completely honest the only Season that I actually mind putting over some Masters of Spinjitsu seasons is Seabound, but it wasn't even that good as most of people are saying. But yeah, I mean, that probably freak you out, but personally, ending show with season 10 would be a better move, in my opinion. So, this is gonna be it for this very controversial video, I must say. And again, be sure to keep in mind that this, this is just my own opinion. If your list is totally different, that's more than fine and also let's not argue with the co in the comment section down below for not agreeing with something we all love ninjago and that's all that matters on the at the end of the day if you enjoyed this video i would highly appreciate a like don't forget to click that subscribe button you and ready have a great day bye